This is the bone marrow, where nearly half a billion blood platelets are produced every day. What role do these tiny platelets play in the human body? without the faintest idea of what to do or where to go. Where are they all going? I wonder why they're all so busy. Hmm. Shouldn't we be like them? Surely there's some kind of work for us, eh? Ahoy there, young platelets. Welcome to the big wide bloodstream, my lads. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, young platelets, all right. You may be bigger than us, but platelets shrink with age, you see. Sir, perhaps you could tell us, do we have a purpose in life? Of course, as platelets, your job is just as important as any other part of the blood, be it a red corpuscle, a macrophage, or even a member of the police force. What is our job? Oh, I'm glad you asked that question. Now, listen to me carefully. We are responsible for the proper circulation of this entire bloodstream. Ha! All we will do is hang about and wait for something to happen. Oh, come on, is that quite fair? Nothing interesting ever happens. We live for only ten days, and the first seven have been deadly dull. I wonder why the young policewoman told us we were useful. We just have to be patient, I suppose. Think of the devil, yes, he is. Hello there, old platelets. I see you've met up with some young friends. Welcome to the bloodstream, you newcomers, and I hope you'll enjoy it here. You can rely on the older fellas to show you the ropes. Let's go. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> What's that? That's dangerous. Oh. Patch the walls. <laughs> but what on earth makes them all go like that? It's very simple, actually. The damage is caused by harmful fats, acid, or even adrenaline when the body's had a bit of a fright. How long do they stay there? Forever, naturally. Who's the little baby jack in the box? He's cute. <laughs> he's not cute, he's a very nasty customer, a virus. Our antibodies will get him, don't you worry. <laughs> Just look at that! Hey! Papers, please. Can you identify yourself? Seems to be in order. You, That's very odd. Their papers seem to be in perfect order, and yet... There's hmm. something funny about that lot right enough. Let's keep an eye on them. Victims in sight. Up and at <laughs> Aren't we? Oh, these antibodies are cute. Cute? 
Let's sit down and I'll tell you a story about them. <sighs> One day in an earlier life, I was with a group of platelets just like you fellas. We had no idea the disaster lay in wait for us. <laughs> Believe it or not, the very antibodies that were supposed to protect us attacked us instead. What do you make of that? Huh? But what made them do it? I thought their job was to attack outsiders, not us. Of course, but that's when the organism is healthy. In this case, the body was unwell. So the antibodies attacked everyone, friend and foe. So what happened in the end? Oh, those rogue antibodies came to a very bad end, let me tell you. You see, a very clever doctor worked out what was going on in the bloodstream. Hmm. Hmm, so that's it. They're killing off their own platelets. Hmm. I'll use an old trick on them. The Trojan horse? He injected the bloodstream with Trojan horse platelets. They were full of medicine that killed any antibody that touched them. And then? And then the body was cured, of course. We were all able to come out of hiding and get on with our normal lives. Uh -oh. Hello, all you platelets. Having a rest, are you? Oh, Captain, we just heard the most unbelievably horrifying story. <laughs> Don't worry your head about that, young fella. It doesn't happen that often. All right, platelets, time to get moving, if you don't mind. Hi there. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let go! What's going on? <sighs> Let go! You've got no right to lasso people like this. Those enzyme cowboys with their ropes of fibre and couldn't care less about the corpuscles' complaints. Stop this behaviour at once! It's irresponsible! Oh, don't be such a rotten old spoil sport! You'll be the one to spoil the farm if you block this vein. But there are plenty of veins. The tissue surrounding this vein is bound to die if we can't feed it. I don't believe you, Professor. That's just a story you made up to stop us having fun. Stop it! The pile's top heavy! It'll fall! And we're stuck! <laughs> You just don't realise what you're doing. You're going to kill off a most important part of the body. Oh, oh come on, Hemo. Pull harder. You can do it. You must. <laughs> Wake up. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter? If it's not one thing, it's another. Now, what can the latest problem be? Oh, no, that's all we need, as if we didn't have enough troubles already. I'm calling in the prostaglandin squad immediately. Captain PG, I have an extremely urgent mission for you. Clear that blockage. Captain PG leads his specialized combat troops into action. Only prostaglandin can remove the blockage. Draw your weapons, men, and fire at will. Oh, Hemo, you're my hero. You're so brave. 
<laughs> wow! Oh, tough luck. It's your turn now. Let's see if you can do better. I'd rather pack it in. Hey? Anyway, I haven't got any arrows left. So, let's go and make some. Peter, you know I don't allow you to play with knives. Oh, but Mum, we only want to make some arrows. I'll put it back in a minute. I'll be very careful, I promise. You've had your minute, Peter. Now will you please give me that knife? Oh, just a second, Mum. I'm nearly finished. <laughs> Ow! Peter's gone and cut himself. Peter's gone and cut himself. Na, 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 na. On the dirty knife blade were millions of germs, just waiting for an opportunity like this, when quite by accident, the body's defences are slashed wide open. We're going to start a wonderful infection. Just you wait. Jumbo Junior of the Polynuclear Police. Alert! Alert! We've got a major emergency in our hands. Large-scale destruction of tissue and loss of blood with a massive Staphylococcus invasion. We need combat troops and engineers to repair the damage urgently. Bit of a close shave, Rob. Well, you young blade, did you come down to my size? I see you've grown up now. I'm so small, I was always grown up. Hiya! Hiya! Hold it. If you'd only let me decide. Your attention, please. This is a general emergency. All engineers and combat troops must report to the right thumb immediately. Veins have been cut, the body is losing blood, and we've been invaded by a powerful force of Staphylococcus germs. All specialized cells are ordered to step up antibody manufacture with immediate effect. Calling all lymphocyte units, calling all lymphocyte units. Come in, lymphocyte units. Do you read me? Well, that is the big job we've all been waiting for. Save the day! What are they doing? Who are they? They are heparin agents from the Bureau of Anticoagulation, but they're behaving like absolute clots this time. Heavens, this is sheer stupidity! What will become of us all if the platelets can't do their work? Oh, this is mind-boggling incompetence. Where's the special force supposed to deal with them? Oh, <laughs> 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 
as you're supposed to. You're beginning to annoy me. Don't you want to cooperate? No, no. Watch this. I'd better have a word with the foreman of the assembly line. Your workers had me fooled for a moment. They're loafing so hard that I almost forgot we've got a massive invasion of Staphylococci to fight. Mr. Foreman, do I make myself perfectly clear? Yes, sir. Now listen here. I want to see those antibodies coming off the line a lot faster. Get a move on! That's more like it. There you are. That's it. <laughs> the new genes are twisted up in spiral form, and soon they're part of a swarm of fighting antibodies. Platelets are still rushing to the scene of the disaster, while thrombin enzymes are collecting fibrinogen, the basic material for the fibrin ropes used by the cowboys. Ah, oh, here we are. Oh, oh. Lassoes. our moment of glory! <laughs> Repairs are going well, but there's still a war on. The T lymphocyte is a heavyweight war machine hated by germs. <laughs> Lieutenant, give them some antibody support. Metro, all systems go. You bet, Lieutenant. Very well. Attack. Show those germs no mercy, man! Take cover, those things are dangerous! Germs. What? Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> He 
Teresa, let me see your thumb. Look at all that awful yellow stuff in my cut, Mum. What is it? It's only pus. The dead bodies of all the white capuscles that have been fighting germs to keep your body healthy. Come with me. Your body produces nearly half a billion platelets every day. And now you know what their job is. Oh, 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 oh,